الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين Good morning and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Instagram fam friends and followers of Asafi and thank you for getting up with me thank you for joining me for another installment of our series Revert Reflections This week's theme is hanging on or practical methods to hang on and hang in when your faith is being tested and we've been talking about uh the practical means the practical ways that if we employ them if we utilize them correctly will enable us uh to find the strength uh to find the certainty to to find the iman uh, to remain committed to our commitment to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to avoid breaching our covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the temptation to breach our covenant with Allah and yesterday we talked about keeping good company and today we're going to talk about fostering certainty through knowledge of Allah his names and his attributes and i want to begin with a quote from al-imam ibn al-qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala a very beautiful quote where he talks about the importance of this knowledge so bear with me he says the souls have no greater need than their need for awareness of their benefactor and creator and there is no path to the achievement of this awareness except through knowledge of his qualities and names the more knowledgeable a person is regarding them the more familiar with and nearer to allah he will become and the more actively he will seek his pleasure the more knowledgeable we are the more we will want to please allah serve allah the less he knows of these names and attributes the more ignorant of and further from allah he will be and the less allah will like them i'm sorry i'm sorry and uh, and the less allah will like him because allah's assessment of his servant reflects his servant's assessment of him so he says the less he knows of these names and attributes the more ignorant of and further from allah he will be but at on on the other side of that allah will what will distance himself figuratively he'll distance himself from him and allah will like him less the more the less he knows about allah the less allah will like him because allah's assessment of his servant reflects his servant's assessment of him that if we if we have a high opinion of allah allah will have a high opinion of us and the opposite is also correct so then the more we know of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the more motivated we will be to worship him just think about it brothers and sisters how can you love someone that you hardly know If we don't know Allah how can we love him? How can you truly appreciate someone if you are unaware of the favors of their favors upon you? If you're unaware of this, how can you truly love them? How can you truly appreciate them? I'm sorry. It's easy brothers and sisters to betray someone that you don't know. It's easy to betray someone that you don't know that you you have no connection to. It's easy to betray them. But it's hard to betray someone that you know intimately. It's easy to betray someone when you don't know them and when you don't know the consequences that they're able to bring to bear the consequences they're make, they're able to make you face when you don't know what they are capable of it's easy to betray them but when you know what they're capable of when you know that there will be consequences you're less likely to betray them it's easy to work brothers and sisters for someone's sake when you know how generous they are when you know how much they will give you in exchange as a recompense for the work that you do it's easy to work for someone like that and so and so we need to know allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for these reasons we'll never betray allah if we know allah wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi we'll never betray allah if we know allah because we know what the consequences will be we know how what he's capable of we will truly love allah if we know allah but if we don't know allah how can we love him we'll truly appreciate allah when we know all of the favors when we truly sit back and reflect upon all of the favors of allah we'll appreciate him and we'll want to show our appreciation through being more committed we'll want to live a more committed and righteous life at, to basically show our appreciation to give thanks and gratitude to allah for all of his favors so brothers and sisters we need to know allah and knowing allah will help us hang on and hang in when our faith is being tested And so therefore 
Brothers and sisters, it is critical for us, especially in the early stages of our development, our spiritual development, in the early stages of being Muslim and doing the Muslim thing, it's critical, critically important for us to learn about Allah. Sometimes our focus in terms of our learning, it goes off in a direction that's not truly practically helpful, helpful for us, especially in trying to what? In trying to, to treat the roots of Iman and make them grow thick and strong such that the tree of Iman cannot be easily uprooted. We're studying things that are not helpful, are not useful in this regard. We're studying very complex and advanced uh, pieces of knowledge that will not help us when those strong winds blow to prevent our tree, from, tree of Iman from being uprooted. And so it's critical for us in the beginning stages especially to learn about Allah, learn about the one that we worship, Learn about Allah such that we love Him, such that we appreciate Him, such that there is a great hesitancy, that's an understatement, to betray Him. Such that it's easy for us, we work for Him happily because we are eager to get the rewards and the blessings that He will give us in exchange for our work. We need to learn about Allah. We need to make this, 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 this a cornerstone of what learning we do. And even worse than not, Focusing on learning about Allah in the early stages and throughout our development, in fact, is the people who they become Muslim and they don't study at all. They're not connected to knowledge at all. And we're going to talk about, inshallah ta'ala, the importance of knowledge as a practical means to hang on and hang in when our faith is being tested. Knowledge generally, we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Until then, brothers and sisters, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless your day, to bless your houses, to bless your spouses, to bless your children to bless your rizq, to bless your income and the revenue that comes into your life, to put blessing in that and to bless you and to make you blessed wherever you may be. Until tomorrow, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh from team Asafi.